And how did you end up in the Oregon Territory after Vancouver? That's my dad sent me there. My dad? My dad, he said, I need some place too, because I want to do some few territories to learn. To learn a little bit with art, a little bit over there in Vancouver, a little bit in, uh, in Portland, Oregon. And he did some very important Oregon. So I, I went there in Portland, Oregon. You know what I mean? So did you meet Mad Dog in Montreal before you left for Calgary? Once. I met with one, just one time, and he booked me in Calgary. It's funny because of his friend. I didn't know him. I saw him one night at friend's, my uh, friend's place, and he booked me in Calgary. I was lucky, you know what I mean? Were you intimidated by him uh, when you first met him with his reputation? I couldn't see it, and not forget. I explained to you before. I see him, I see him TV when I was young, when I was seven, eight years old. I was watching him. He came to my to my region, and uh, he was he was the master. He was uh, the only when he came in TV. And the only everyone didn't want to go to the wrestling matches to see it. You know I mean? He said he said the uh, like Saint Jean, right? It was not my country. He said that, that that's my territory. So he make this interview there. I come to my territory. I come to defense my territory. So the people come there. Come and see it. So it was good to see him too. And he was younger. He had had a match. I heard you telling us before off camera that uh, Vashon actually developed his mad dog uh, character in Oregon because it wasn't even just Maurice Vashon before that. Yes, that's what I heard. That's what everybody told me. That's why I was the only. Okay. Said when my dad came there the first time, right? He got friend with uh, Don Owen. Don Owen, and and uh, my dad was so so he, he was looking like a mad dog when he was wrestling. Yeah. So that's why that I said we should call you a mad dog. You were wrestling like a mad dog. So that's why his first his name came came from from there that place. How did you first get brought into the AWA? Was that Mad Dog again? Uh, when you went to Vergonia's territory? Vergonia? No, when I went to Vergonia, the first time it was, it was uh, Mad Dog, but the second time and the time after, uh, I knew Vern's. You uh, liked the amateur wrestler? Yes, I knew Vern, so uh, one time Vern came down to Montreal, I went to see him and said, hey Vern, you need somebody, you need somebody else in, in your territory? He said yes, so I went there to work. Yes. And in 1986, you wrestled uh, in a tag team match in Mad Dog Vachon's retirement match. Yes. Um, That's me. Me, I asked him. Okay. Ask Mad Dog. I said, Mad Dog, I'm going to be with you against you. He said, You stop me in the wrestling business? So I give you, uh, I, I, got, I want to do the last match with you. With you. So he said, Yes. So we did the last match together. And that got a lot of publicity uh, here in Quebec because he's yes. such a legend. Yes, uh, it was the last match, eh? So it was good for me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, I think I deserve it to be the last, his last uh, match against me. I think I deserve it to give me that too. I was good for him. You know I mean, I used to stay with my dog in Minneapolis. You know I mean? right. We used to go out together. I think he's one of my friends. Right. So uh, I think it was okay to give me that match, you know what I mean? Well, I have to ask you now that you brought up that you went out with Mad Dog. Did you ever see him in one of his bar fights that he's uh, notorious for? <laughs> I hear what some, but uh, the one I hear the world the most in my time that was in, uh, I think, uh, uh, Saskatchewan. Went to Saskatchewan, you know what I mean? But I missed the fight. I missed the fight, but anybody told me what happened. What, what happened? Oh, yeah. Was not nice. Yeah. Uh, I guess. And everybody was it was doing when see the guy after that he got beat. He said, hey, "You're lucky you got the small one." So yeah. you got the small one. Because <laughs> uh, he was known to like he would often just pop people's eyes out, right? Apparently, that's, that's you, what could happened. Get, you could get away with that in those days. That's what happened. <laughs> yeah, I did get away. With it. You could get away with that now. But the guy is a real guy. One one afternoon. Uh, I, mean, I guess what I've heard is Mad Dog could take a lot of punishment and then no matter how big the person was, 
when that person got tired, I guess Mad Dog would just finish it. was on the head, I would just say, what's tough? Yeah. He didn't feel his body, his body was tough, was hard. His skin was hard, he was a tough man. Did but you man, ever uh, amateur wrestle him at all? No, never, never tried, never believed in him.